Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into the customization options of the brand new Samsung Galaxy S25, S25 Plus and S25 Ultra. Specifically, we are going to show you how to completely transform your navigation experience by switching between traditional buttons and sleek modern swipe gestures. Let's get started. First thing first, let us head over to the settings app and then scroll down until you see display. Tap on display to open it. Now look for navigation bar. Found it? Perfect. Tap that. This is where the magic happens. Here you will see two options, buttons and swipe gestures. If you prefer the classic button setup, you can customize the button order. Make sure buttons is selected and then tap more options. Here you can choose your preferred layout. Select the one that feels most natural to you. But if you are ready to embrace the future of navigation, let us explore swipe gestures. Tap the back button to return to the main navigation bar screen and then select swipe gestures. Now let us see how these gestures work. If you are in an app and want to go back, simply swipe from the left or right edge of your screen. To return to the home screen, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. And for accessing your recently opened apps, swipe up from the bottom and hold for a moment. See, it is that easy. Swipe gestures not only look incredibly modern, you also free up valuable screen real estate. And that's it, you have now mastered the art of customizing your Samsung Galaxy S25's navigation. Whether you prefer the familiarity of the buttons or fluidity of swipe gestures, tailor your experience to perfectly suit your needs. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on your Samsung Galaxy S25. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know which navigation method you prefer.